Welcome to Bat19 Rejects, the show where we promote products that we don't even sell because I'm an idiot. Now Jamie is gonna tell you why he stupidly didn't add them to the Bat19 store. And we are gonna decide if he made the right choice, probably tell where we're going. <laughs> yeah. All right, enough chitter chatter from you two. Let's get the first product in here. Oh! This is the realistic ballpoint finger pen. Oh my God. Oh, I hate that so much. Looks like a finger. Let's see yeah, if it let's writes. let's see if it can write. It wrote pretty well. You know who this is for? That like fun uncle. Yeah, hey kids. <laughs> hey kids. Oh, Did you see this? There's a, uh, there's a finger in my pocket. Oh, it's just a pen I just dropped with you. We put together a little Halloween section. Yeah. Every oh. October, uh, Vet 19 turns into a spirit Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> let's get this thing out of here. Send me the next reject. Oh! We're gonna get a candy out. We love giant candy. This is the giant nerds box, and nothing disappoints me more in this world than this product. Oh, wow. This is terrible. Oh, because the grape. Nobody wants grape. When you see this, what do you think? Giant box of nerds. Or maybe the nerds are big. It's neither of those oh. things, gentlemen. It's a three quarters box of air. Open it up. The Tell me how filled settled. with nerds it is. Benny, ready? Yeah. All right, now the they're nerds. gonna skitter all over the floor now. Oh. This is just a it's glorified good. Halloween bowl. This is how full it is. They just hardly put anything in there. Like, that's all you get in this giant box. I don't know what you guys just said because I'm crunching on these nerds, but I agree. Fake nerds! Oh. Oh. Well, here, you can hardly see it anymore. <laughs> just spackle it. You just gotta smackle it. Well, I guess we need to order a new table, so. What do we got? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is the interactive glow-in-the-dark t-shirt. It comes with this, and this is your light. You can turn this on. Oh, dude, you are ready for that cosmic bowl. Eric does rule. See? That's pretty fun. <laughs> Sandin, would you wear this to a music festival that's like a week long, and you wear like neon hats too? I would not. Oh boy. Hands out. It is machine washable, but you have to machine wash it at 30 degrees Celsius. Right reject it up. That's what I was about to do. That's right. Reject. Ta-da. Oh yeah. Oh nice, didn't even slosh yes. any. Nice I know, handle. I know. Check this out everyone. Yum yum. This is Cereal bowl candles. See? It's, wow! Oh! <laughs> you thought it was gonna be stuck in there, it totally wasn't, it's all loose! It does smell exactly like it. It looks exactly like it. I like this, Jamie. I don't know what you're talking I about. I know. I guess I had a couple problems. Fruit Loops owns that name. So we would have to call it like cereal candle like they do on Etsy. Do you really want your house smelling like Fruit Loops? Maybe. Well, maybe. <laughs> Taste test? Go see for it. it. You see if it does? It. Yeah. Don't eat, don't eat candles. It tastes like fruit loops. Are you gonna swallow it? I don't know. <laughs> well, I wanna try one then. What are you guys doing? Hold on. Well, if it's Eric does good. it. You're such a liar, you just said that no, to get me to do it. Bad. Get in there, man. No. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> It's making a cool design in there. I might have to take a second look at this okay. one, guys. I'm not making any promises. Maybe put this in the maybe pile. Maybe pile. Oh. Put this in the maybe pile. All right, uh, what's next? Oh, this thing. This is the burger holder. It's so you can eat burgers the clean way. Oh. Not like impressing me so far, I'm gonna be honest. So you put your burger in here and then you <laughs> eat out of it. It's to enjoy burgers the elegant and clean way. Pretty elegant. Now hold it without the burger. It's so inelegant. This could be for the keto version. Ow, we're living. <laughs> Actually, it's warm. But what happens when you've eaten down to like here? What do you do? Yeah, it's hard now. So yeah, I would say it's a worse way to eat a burger, right? Oh, I hear the comment section, Jamie. Oh no. I hear it chanting. Did somebody say Bogwood? Let me get my greasy face in there. <laughs> Reject it. Okay, this is adorable. This is a little Taco Bell box. Uh, Taco Bell's in there? Check it out! What do I do? Do I open it? Show it to Ben. Oh, it's like glued. That's all it does? You've now experienced the mini Taco Bell bag. Just a bag? It's just the Taco Bell bag. I don't get it. Can we rewind? I brought it out. These guys were like, yay! 
Yeah, I wanted to eat the little tacos inside oh, of it. I was gonna eat a tiny burrito. And that's how I felt. I just don't get it. I mean, it literally seems like there was like a late night Barbie set, you know, a 3 a.m. Barbie set that they just took this out of the package. <laughs> Too drunk Barbie driving through Taco Bell. Right. Maybe there's a Baja Blast inside. Yeah, it's a piece of foam. <laughs> That's just a <laughs> cotton swab. And to be clear, this is not sold or licensed by Taco Bell. No, no, no. So it'd be 100% copyright infringement for us to even sell this product. Wait, how much is this, by the way? Oh, oh, oh. You're about to be is stunned. <laughs> is this more than a Taco Bell? meal twelve dollars get the taco bell thing out here twelve dollars oh are you guys in for a treat i am ready These for a treat are the hands free binoculars oh. whoa oh, i can see dylan so clearly here let's see if i can read the box professional hands Free binoculars. But take your hands off of them. That's not hands free. Binoculars, glasses. So this is a 3x zoom. I don't think these even qualify as binoculars. Oh, what'd you say, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. The sh my sh TV show's back on. What do you see, Boglin? I can see into your soul. Oh. I kind of like them. I do a little bit of bird watching. I know you don't expect that from a guy as cool as me, but uh, you know, I can see where these would be handy. Just checking out the birds. Tell you what, Eric, if you love them so much, why don't you buy them? $46. Oh, no thanks, I'm out. Get them out of here. If I got a treat for you guys, this- oh, It's just for your phone again. It's an umbrella for your phone. Oh, you uh... keep pushing. These rejects for no. your phone. Cocktail uh, umbrella. You take this little guy and then. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fun. I think it's for rain or sun. Now it's raining. Wait. Get me under that umbrella. It's working. <laughs> Dry as a bone, like the bones on this guy. Actually, no rain, it's, it's all the top. It's pretty good. It's pretty dry, I gotta be honest. It works, but it's it's done. I will say you could put it on anything too. Anything that needs a little umbrella, you just suction that right on. Like a, like a boglet? Dig it in the red! Dig it in the red! Now give me that bag of Taco Bell and I'm out of here! She gone. All right, it's time for the rapid rejection round. Put 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Yep. You super ready? I'm gonna go you quick. Gotta I'm gonna reject try. these things real fast. Okay, go. Oh. Okay, this is the polar bear global warming eraser. No! You need, I know you. Oh! You, you erased it. Melts? Oh no! <laughs> these are little wiener erasers. Oh! Just, that's kind of cute. They remind me of our pickle eraser. Flamingo finger puppets. Boglin would eat them. 30 <laughs> seconds. Try chicken soap doesn't smell Are like fried chicken sure? doesn't really look like it fried chicken a gold nugget okay it's a pizza kite it <laughs> oh, looks like it. Buy it. i don't Yay, know hey pizza blockchain for babies because what what 15 what? seconds this actually i actually don't hate this it's a baguette pillow yeah, it's kind of fun maybe, seven seconds i don't know man i did it this time wow it's like a potato All right, it's time for the redemption round. Jamie, Eric and I have found a product that we think you should add to the store. We are about to wow you with a pitch that will make you a million dollars. Let's do it. Okay, Jamie, what do you hate more than anything other than yogurt? Coffee! Get ready to get addicted to it because what do you also love? You love the spice. Oh man! We're about to take your coffee to the next level. Hot sauce for coffee. Hot sauce for coffee. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of like that. Let's just take a sniff. Is that grape? <laughs> what is that top note? Raisin? It smells sweet. But no it sweetness to be found. It really maintains the coffee if you like your coffee black. Woo! It's got that kick right in the back of the throat it hits. The interesting thing is it doesn't really add any taste except for just the spiciness in your throat and mouth. Wow, the, okay. it hits the throat. I don't drink coffee either, but I'll give it a shot. So you know that feeling after you've just thrown up? That burning in the back oh, of yeah, your throat? That, yeah, that. It's kind of that. Hot sauce for coffee? Like, I kind of like, don't hate it. Yeah, we got it! What? I think it's pretty unique. 
concept and idea. Okay, well, as you've seen, we reject a lot of products here, but to see what has met our standards, go check out vat19.com. For the Boglin. We're never selling the Boglin. Come on! Vat19!